never spoken about my my experiences in front of that well in front of anyone really it was nerve-wracking but healing at the same time My name is Karen Franklin. I've worked in the fashion industry for nearly four decades. The fashion industry, interestingly, is um, a group of many disparate beings. And so we, we're not unionised, we're not unified. There are many myths about the fashion industry. There are many things that are true and there are many things that are not. But it's an amazing job when you understand who you are and what you need to do in this industry and where your limits are. The reason the fashion industry is such a breeding ground for mental health problems is because it's so fast-paced, is because it's so demanding, is because people are expected to be on form 24-7 and available 24-7. On top of that, there's a, a level of personal responsibility where you are only as good as your last project. So people give their all to the expense of their health in order to just stay in the game. And I think because there's such an emphasis on how things look on the outside. There is a lot of resistance to address anything that doesn't fit with that image. It's about culture. We need to address this culture. I think it's really hard when you're a freelancer actually because you don't get your salary at the end of the month. So it's very difficult for freelancers, self-employed people, uh, with small businesses to take time off and take time for themselves. There is a need to, for people to learn to say no and to put their own boundaries in an industry that uh, is lacking boundaries. We are an industry rife with exploitation, predators. Certain people and certain people's motives, it's, it's tricky to like keep yourself safe, you know, because people like, are tugging. Uh, if it's bullying or normalising uh, abusive behaviour or excluding on the basis of race or colour. All those things are very important to, to, to say no to. We need to uh, look after our mental health, which is understanding our emotions, understanding our emotional journey within the work environment in fashion. And to develop a, a culture where it's not just about the absence of mental health, but it's about thriving, about feeling good, about feeling um, valued in your workplace. I think one of our strongest messages really is about prevention being the cure. Mm. And that if people are aware of the signs and symptoms of stress, then we can catch these things before they become catastrophic. So I would like to see for freelancers, for small businesses, for startups, support for their mental health. One of our key messages um, and what I really like is the idea that if it's hysterical it's historical and so the idea that if I'm having an overblown reaction to something that is quite simple um, or quite basic or certainly doesn't warrant the level of emotional response then it's tapping into something else and perhaps that needs looking at. This event has an amazing space to exchange wisdom and experience it's been absolutely fascinating. We've heard some outstanding stories, uh, deeply moving stories too. And I think the big message that's come out of today's workshops and lectures and events and panel discussions is you have to be able to talk. The more I can kind of showcase how I feel or my experience like in a creative way or like now starting to speak publicly, I think there's a healing part of that in there. And when other people come up to me afterwards and say they like they've been where I've been or they identify or like the fact that I've helped them, like part of my brain can't understand that I'm helping other people, you know what I mean? But at the same time it's, it's really, really helpful for me. So now we're seeing this real push to destigmatize mental health. I believe in the future industries that ignore that push for change are going to be a uh, so that's pushing back and that agitation, that disruption often comes from independence quite far outside uh, in order to enact change and where what we really need is, is centralised 
agreement for that change and funding.